एवरीवन इट्स द शॉर्टेस्ट डे ऑफ द ईयर और एज आई कॉल इट प्लैनेट अर्थ एनुअल मूड स्विंग जनरली संडे फील्स लाइक द शॉर्टेस्ट डे एवर बिकॉज इट सीम्स टू बी फास्टर इन द ब्लिंक ऑफ एन आई हाउ एवर एन एक्चुअल शॉर्टेस्ट डे अकर्स वेन सनराइज इज लेट एंड सेट्स अर्ली टूडे वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट द एक्चुअल शॉर्टेस्ट डे एंड दैट्स डिसंबर ट्वेंटी फर्स्ट Okay so here's the deal we need two things the earth aka this rusty globe and for the sun we have this very high tech bulb that it definitely didn't steal from the kitchen this portion of the earth is called the northern hemisphere and this portion is called the southern hemisphere which is separated by an imaginary line called the equator our earth here doesn't just spin around like a happy top no it's tilted by 23.5 degrees and this plays a significant role many people believe that winter occurs when the earth is far away from the sun and summer occurs when it's closer however this isn't accurate in reality the earth is actually closer to the sun during the winters of the northern hemisphere this point in earth's orbit is called the perihelion despite being closer to the sun the northern hemisphere experiences winter because the southern hemisphere receives more direct sunlight When the earth moves farther away from the sun to a position known as the aphelion the northern hemisphere begins to receive more direct sunlight as it is inclined towards the sun so this tilt gives summer to the northern hemisphere and winter to the southern hemisphere so the changes in seasons are not determined by the distance between the earth and the sun but rather by the 23.5 degree axial tilt and its revolution around the sun So this tilt determines which hemisphere receives more direct sunlight at different times of the year. When the sun's rays hit the earth, it creates a circular imprint. Now watch. As the earth orbits the sun, it causes this imprint to shift across the globe throughout the year. When the earth is in the perihelion, the southern hemisphere has the bright spot of sunlight. Here you can see Brazil, which is near the equator, get more sunlight. Almost 12 hours of daylight. hence the days are longer here whereas canada in the north receives very little daylight hence days are shorter and india being in the northern hemisphere too will receive less sunlight making days shorter if you are wondering how exactly is 21st december the shortest day in the northern hemisphere the sunlight's imprint shifts throughout the year because of the tilt in the earth's axis during winter the imprint shifts southward On December 21st the imprint has moved so far south making days shorter in the northern hemisphere. Now here's the cool part. Since the sunlight's imprint shifted south, the amount of daylight any country receives will depend on where it is on the globe. But up here in the northern hemisphere near the poles some places barely see the sunlight at all during the winter solstice. So I guess now we understood how a tilt that is the earth's annual mode swing can make your day shorter hey maga nice video da but the globe is tilted fix it now we'll go for a reshoot